last day in Tumants today. We have to head back home for breakfast today. Just got room service breakfast, toast, eggs, hash brown and bacon. We've checked out and now I'm going to be going to the caravan park and we're just going to hang out and say goodbye. This is the last chance we're going to be able to see whoever's still here because it'll be a while before we see them again. They live all in New South Wales, most of them. And we've got a five hour drive to Sydney Airport ahead of us. So I'm gonna make the most of the time we've still got left. We're at the caravan park. A lot of people already left before we came and a group of people just left. So we're trying to talk to and catch up with as many people as we can before we have to leave. We'll have to leave at around 10.30 at the latest as our flight boards at five past five and it's about a four and a half hour drive to Sydney Airport and so we'll need to get there well before our flight board so we can check in and stuff like that and keeping in mind that we will be making stops along the way for lunch and other things. We've just said goodbye to everyone and we are leaving the caravan park. Now it's time for the four and a half hour drive again this time from Tumut to Sydney. Hey everyone, this is just a quick little editor's note to say that this video was filmed way back in March of this year and if you're an Australian viewer of mine, you would probably be aware that there is a current COVID outbreak in New South Wales and New South Wales is in lockdown. So I just need to clarify that in case you thought that we were illegally traveling throughout New South Wales or if you thought that we were the cause of the outbreak. No, we weren't and we did not need to quarantine when we got there and we did not need to quarantine when we returned home. So I just needed to clear that up. And if you are in New South Wales, please stay home and take this seriously. Thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of the video. vegetable curry puffs with I think it's chili sauce I'm not sure we'll find out it's a sweet and sour sauce don't really need it but it's there here's the main course We've got fried rice and then this chicken in the sauce which I forgot the name of but it all looks very good <laughs> So we're just putting the keys to our hire car back and then we'll probably call an Uber or a taxi. We just got the Uber to the airport, got my mask on. We've printed our boarding passes and so very soon we're going to just go through security. Sure, we'll be fine. I just got pulled over for them to check my bag to make sure there weren't any chemical residues in my bags just so they know that I'm not making any bombs. <laughs> I'm not by the way, all clear. Our flight is scheduled to depart in less than an hour but it'll probably be an hour as they usually delay it. Don't know when it will board though. I know I said five past five but I honestly don't know, just never know. My mask gets so uncomfortable around my ears but 
if it's been loosened. There are so many people here not wearing masks, so obviously Sydney Airport does not enforce the mask policy very well. I need water. Recently I've been drinking a lot more water than I usually do. I guess that's good. I'm more hydrated. And take our masks off to eat or drink, but keep them on at any other time. And there's the sound of a plane flying. I've got my lollies for my ears. My ears actually weren't that bad on the flight to Sydney for some reason. Like, they're usually much worse, but they weren't actually that bad, but I did have to suck on about half of the pack. So I'm sure my ears will be messed up again by the plane, so I'll have to suck on the other half of these Mentos. Time to board our plane. There it is. I've got a window seat, and just by my luck, it does not have a window. What are the chances? And there's one here, and there's one there. mask off. Just had Zumbrero. I had an IQ burrito with a lamb filling. We've had a lot of food this weekend and it's been great and now we are doing the final drive home and then we'll have to unpack and stuff. That concludes this trip. I really enjoyed it. It was nice catching up with my family again and I have not seen those people, I keep saying this, I have not seen those people in years and it was so nice to finally talk to them and just see them. I had a really good time going to Tumut, I have not been there in years also. I think the last time I went there was the last time that I saw some parts of that big lot of people because there were so many people, some I haven't met, some I have met but I have not seen in so long. Don't know where my next holiday will be, but who knows? I will vlog it though. So I hope you enjoyed this little travel adventure and I hope you're just enjoying the videos that I'm putting out. I know not that great at the moment. I'm still working on something, but I hope this will be worth the wait. I don't even know when this video is going out, but I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Goodbye.